Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Victor and I help people navigate through their awakening process. And this video is going to address a question I get all the time. And they're basically, people are saying like, Victor, what does it mean when I see such and such number other than 1111? A lot of you guys are seeing like one, two, three, one, two, three, four, 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 three, 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 seven, 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 nine, one, one. What do these other numbers mean? I've mentioned in other videos, and I, you see 1111 all, in all my videos, that represents enlightenment, awakening, ascension, going through an, a spiritual transformation, etc. So what do these other numbers mean? What are they trying to tell me? I'm going to offer you my opinion on this one. This is, like a lot of my videos, going to have maybe a different opinion, diff, different sort of perspective than a lot of, a lot of other videos of this nature. There's a lot of videos out there that will tell you the different meanings of the different numbers and what they represent. It, it For me, what I've experienced personally is that a lot of these different numbers, because I see many, num many different number combinations and symbols, repetitive synchronous symbols, and they have a very personal meaning to me. It's not that I'm being required by myself, my higher self, my guides who are giving me these signs to go and research these different numbers because they have some sort of impl implicit, inherent m universal meaning. It's that these numbers are a means of bringing awareness to a certain aspect of my life that is just very individual to me. And I'll give an example. So, I would see 8-5 a lot. For the longest time, 8-5, 8-5, 8-5, And it represents, it's my wife's birthday. She was born in August 5th, 1985, so 8-5, 8-5. And it would always bring that to my attention. But whenever I would see it, I would think of her father for some reason. And again, he, he sort of had a big influence on our life because for a long time, after, right shortly after I met my wife, she just was given this credit card with almost no limit. And we uh, were basically for almost a decade allowed to live like, do whatever the hell we wanted to do. Financially, go on vacation. We would go out to these extremely expensive dinners many times a week. And he didn't care. We just had this freaking like safety net given to us. And for the longest time, I, I, associate, I didn't know what that number meant really. But I kept seeing it, kept seeing it, kept seeing it. It turns out that it, I gleaned that it was sort of a roundabout thing. It's not necessary to get into in this video, but real quick, just because I've already gone this far. It meant to me that living that way, I thought was ideal for me. I thought like that's the best way to live, just to have like an abundance always to do whatever you want, basically. But I wasn't working for it. I wasn't doing anything to earn it. And it wasn't true freedom. Because there was times he eventually cut us off completely. Um, and to me, it was just to say like, that's not truly what your ideal scenario is, Victor. It's not just to have people giving you resources. It's to feel whole with creating abundance for yourself. But I was holding on to this, this conflicting belief of wanting it to be a certain way. Anyway, so the 8-5 might have some sort of angelic meaning, I don't know, but to me, it was to send me this specific message because I was really putting out a very conflicting signal uh, and vibrational frequency of what I thought I wanted that conflicted with who I actually am and what I actually wanted. Another thing is you'll probably find that you'll get synchronicities for anything you choose to focus on. If I see like one, two, eight, twice in one day, I say, oh, wow, it's the second time I saw one, two, eight. Maybe I'll tell my wife about it. Hey, dude, hey, boy, hey, babe, I saw one, two, eight twice today. Oh, one, two, eight. My daughter it pipes in. What's that? One number, daddy? Oh, honey, it was one, two, eight. They have already sort of said that one, two, eight many, many times. So what's going to happen? So I'm going to start seeing one, two, eight more because I'm focusing on it more, verbalizing it, thinking about it more. And therefore, I will see one, two, eight all the time. And the more I see it, the more I focus on it, the more I go, oh my God, there's one, two, eight again. Holy shit. So all I see is one, two, eight. It snowballs because I keep thinking and focusing on it. Is there an inherent meaning of one, two, eight? Maybe. But to me, it's just a, it's just a pattern. I'm getting, I'm getting the same sort of situation with skateboards. Just the other day, me and my wife went to uh, Mission Beach 
and had just a, an amazing date night. And I thought it would be cool to get one of those longboards. I see people longboarding all along. They're all over down here in Southern California, these people longboarders. And it looks fun. I thought to myself at the time, maybe I'll get one for me and my daughter because she already has a, cool, a skateboard and she loves it. She's pretty good actually, even though she's only seven. Um, and I've just been thinking about it. And I, just the other day, I saw another longboard just where we're camping. And now I'm seeing skateboards everywhere I look. It's because I'm, I'm focusing on it. And just this morning, right before I was going to go to Starbucks, I was sitting in my car. And we we have a, we have a cat, basically. And we, we try to we tie it up outside our camper because he has these little stray cat friends that come all the time. There's cats all around our camper. We feed him and stuff. It's weird. Um, but anyway, I'm just sitting there in my car. And one of these stray cats like moved my daughter's existing skateboard and just sort of like slid from under our camper like right into like plain view. This out of the blue, I'm just zoning out and scape a skateboard just appears into my vision. And it just shows you like because I've been thinking of freaking skateboards. So in some cases if you feel guided to look up the meanings of what these different numbers are, there's a lot of experts in that field that'll say, one, two, three is, are your angels, such and such is this particular archangel, this and this means your spirit guides, and that could very well be true. I'm not, I'm not disputing that, but a lot of times it's just, again, because you're focusing on a particular number or it's a number that means something individual to you. Like for a while, the last, last example is I would see 420 a lot because I was a grower, but I also had a lot of fear and, and like conflicting definitions about it because I, as I grew up, I'd get in trouble as a kid for smoking weed. I got suspended for school and I was always like doing it, like trying to get away with it. Like I just had this feeling like it was wrong. People are always punishing me for it. And I carried that energy with me to this day. I just, I just had this epiphany the other day. What the hell 420 always meant. And I would see 420, 420, 420, 420, 420. And it's going to keep coming until I realize why it's there. What's causing this reflection of 420? It's just a symbol of something inside of me. And I discovered it just the other day. And it, I trust the 420 will go away now. Or it'll mean something else. So my advice to you, to you guys who are wondering what do these numbers mean... Just ask yourself, are you just going to be focusing on it? Or what do you think of when you see it? How do you feel? What does your gut tell you? Again, what is the, the, the response in you when you see these particular numbers? And that's your clue. That's what it means for you. There might be some sort of specific definition of what these numbers mean, but that might not be why you are reflecting it to yourself. It might be very individual and personal. Or it could be to inspire you to look it up and see what it means. It's all over the board. I just see a lot of a lot of content that say like this number means this. And I don't think that's going to be helpful for a lot of people who might be seeing that number because again I believe it has more of an individual and personal meaning to them. And that's why I made this video. Okay? So that's just my perspective, my opinion on this matter. Take it or leave it. Have an amazing day. I will talk to you tomorrow. Namaste. Real quick, I forgot to mention guys. Just the other day, I started an online uh, a Facebook community. People have been requesting to do this, like to have a community where they can talk to other cool spiritual people like you guys watching. So I have one. I'll, I'm starting to leave links below my newer videos where you can join. It's free. I have no agenda. I'm not even out of that much, honestly. It's just there's a lot of other people who watch my videos and are into this spiritual awakening thing that you can, can hang out and no longer feel like a weirdo because there's, you'll see there's a lot of other people just like you. So if you want to join, just go ahead. There's a link down below. I'll label it real clearly. It's a private group only so I don't, I can disallow or, or boot out people who I think are just trying to disrupt everybody and, and get, you know, ad be the kind of agitating and just there just, again, just to rustle everybody up unnecessarily. It's open to everybody. It's not private in the sense that only some of you are going to be approved. You're all going to be approved. You and anybody else you send to that link, okay? So give it a try. If that's something that interests you, you want to connect to other like-minded people, it's now there. And now I will close. Have an amazing day, guys. Peace.